Hey, what's up everyone? In this new lesson, we are going to take a look at how to use the DHT sensor that allows you to read the temperature and the humidity. We are going to hook it up to the ESP32 board. Then we'll use a library that is called DHT sensor library and it allows you to get the temperature and the humidity using the sensor. So without any further ado, let's dive right into it. In this new video, you will need the DHT sensor. This is called DHT11, but if you have another version like DHT22, you could use it with the same way. Basically, we have three pins that we need to hook up to the ESP32 board. One of them is labeled minus, which goes to the GND of the ESP32 board. This one is the VCC, which goes to the 5 volt pin of the ESP32 board, or you could use 3.3 volts. As you can see, we have this pin on top that you could use because this sensor doesn't require a high voltage to power it up. And the last pin is labeled S, which is the signal pin. You could hook it up to one of the GPIO pins. In this tutorial, I will use the GPIO pin number 26, but you could use any of the other digital pins. I have the VCC on the right side, the GND on the left side, and the data or the signal is the middle pin. Then we can move on to the Arduino IDE and use the DHT sensor library. Basically, we are going to display the values on the serial monitor. But later on, we are going to create a DHT server that allows you to read the temperature and the humidity from your smartphone using the Wi-Fi capability. Let's go to the library manager and search for DHT sensor library. And here it is. It is called DHT sensor library. I'm using the version 1.4.4. Make sure to hit the install button. Once you do that, we can start off by including this library using hash, then include, and the name DHT. After that, we can create a DHT object. The type is DHT that comes with this library then we can give it a name like dht lowercase and in these parentheses we add two parameters the first one is the pin that we have used it in my case i've used the gpio pin number 26 then the type of the sensor because we have two versions the dht11 and the dht22 sensor make sure to write the same type that you have after that, we have to initialize it under the setup function using DHT, which is the name of the object, dot begin. It is recommended to add a bit of delay, like two seconds, because these kind of sensors takes a bit of time to load the value and get the better results. And finally, I'm going to use the serial monitor using serial dot begin with a baud rate 115, 200. And if you don't know how to use the serial monitor, I highly recommend you to watch one of my videos. I've talked about it in depth. Now we can move on to the loop function. And each time we can get the temperature and put it inside a float, which is a decimal number. I'm going to call it temp equals. Then to get the value, we use DHT dot read temperature. And it returns the value in Celsius. And if you want to get the value in Fahrenheit, you add true as a parameter. I don't want that. Let's add another float. I'm going to call it a humidity equals DHT dot read humidity. And it is in percent. And finally, let's display this information on the serial monitor using serial dot print. And I'm going to print the text temp. Then we add the actual value of the temperature using serial dot print and pass in the temp variable. Then we concatenate the unit using serial dot print. It is the Celsius. I will write C. Next, we display the humidity using serial dot print. I'm going to write the text humidity, then colon. 
and we add the humidity value using serial.print humidity then we add the unit using the percent sign the same thing we have to add a delay so that we can get the accurate values like two seconds and here we have a loop function it is called over and over again we are going to display these values each two seconds but i will add print alan at the end so that we can go back to the next line you see it's really simple to use this sensor with this library dht.h now we can test our project of course you have to select the board i have an odmcu 32s and the port of the usb cable com6 and let's hit upload then i will hold down the boot key and once it's done uploading we can open up the serial monitor from this icon and it is this window of course make sure to select the board rate 115 200 and there you go we have the readings the temperature is about 18 celsius and the humidity is 92 percent i think that's pretty much it guys for this video i hope you like it if you have any question or comment about this project make sure to write it under the comment section down below in the next video we'll create a dht web server that allows you to get the values on your smartphone that's why don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon that helps me a lot and i will see you in the next one